Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! Welcome to our YouTube channel, The Full Sense To You. Welcome! Yes, it's great to have you here with us today once again. Mm -hmm. And if today's your first time visiting the channel, you are so welcome. Thank you yes. very much for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Please look through our videos. Yeah. And if anything is beneficial to you, please like the video. Like the video for Drop us, us a comment guys. underneath. Comment, and comment. then please support us by subscribing to the channel. Subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, guys. Yes. It's free. <laughs> support the ministry. It's, yeah. It's a lot of work. But, yeah. So we are called to it. So awesome. Yeah. yeah. So um in a previous video we posted about a week or two ago with um on our channel and then it was highlighted by Choco Millionaire. Yeah. And shout out to Choco Millionaire. Like Thank you, brother. Choco doing Millionaire. a really great job helping us to push our content. I mean by his <laughs> Efforts we were able to get to 1,000 subscribers. Oh, so, yes. Yeah, thank you to all of you too <laughs> for getting us there. And uh, yeah, let's let's keep on let's keep up the momentum so that we are able to bring you more beneficial content. So on that yeah. on that on that previous video, we had um, a teacher from Ghana who is currently pursuing her PhD in the US and also yes. working as well, share yeah. her experiences with us. And after that, you know, there was a lot of Shall feedback, it? comments, lots of emails, especially when Choco Millionaire posted it on his Facebook page and promoted yeah. it. And we had so many people reaching out to us, right. wanting to know what this opportunity was and details about it. And um, some others also wanted to find out how they could also pursue further education. Yeah. Asantua is going to come in with more details about the process. Oh, but God, yeah. we also did some research and in addition to the institution that teacher um Faustina had benefited from it's called what EPI right yeah it's education EPI, so partners international yes. that in addition yeah. to that opportunity we discovered like a portal where there are over 60 nice. of such organizations offering nice. similar programs yes, we're like over, wow over 60 and I'm like wow um teachers <laughs> yes it is your turn all yes. the teachers who want to jump <laughs> Because we from Auntie Faustina's video, yeah. the fully funded PhD and her job, like all the teachers are emailing us. I'm like, oh my goodness, it yes. seems like they want to leave. They yeah. want to leave. Everybody wants to leave Ghana. We've had some emails also from Nigeria. Nigeria. I mean, yeah. which which is fine. Yeah. So it, there the, are the more opportunity opportunities. is not restricted to any country. So no. in whatever country you are in, watching us from, you're a teacher, you want to explore these opportunities. You, you definitely why not? can. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we are we are we are we are going to do a demo about how to get access to the database because I mean 60 organizations we can't go through all of them Charlie guys but we can't <laughs> yeah, they are all offering similar kind of teacher exchange programs and the yeah. interesting thing about this is that it is it is it is going to be delivered by giving them a J1 visa status okay yeah so and the J1 visa is for like exchange programs mm -hmm. and you know yeah. student exchange like so many different ty types yeah. of things yeah. even scholars like exchange. research scholars yeah and some of them have clauses whereby exactly. you have to return to your country for at least two, two years, years yeah before you can participate in another government exactly uh, another government exchange program I'm not too sure if this one falls under that category but I mean you with a J1 you are able to stay in the US initially for three years years and then you can extend it up to five years up to five years so so i mean if you are if you get the opportunity to live and work in the u.s for five years i mean at the end of it whatever you choose to do with that opportunity it, it's it, up to it's you it's up to you yeah and if you need to return home it's like a return home for two years two right yes and yeah. so you can still do stuff while yeah. while you are home and yeah. I, I think i have been on the j1 for three years for, for three years actually my first j1 was when i i got accepted into yali Mandela oh, Washington right. okay. Fellowship and yeah. that one there was a clause okay. so I had to return home for two years and somebody yeah. say hey two years is long <laughs> guys it's not long I don't even remember when the two years came by and it's interesting there was someone who dropped out of the program, program because, because of that, of that clause yeah. yeah but the two years comes by quickly. quickly and trust me if you are really looking for opportunities abroad and you you need to go back home for two years it will come by quickly you yeah. can still apply for that opportunity yeah. come on yeah so I did that I had to return to Ghana but then on my other subsequent uh, J ones, yeah. I did. There was no clause, clause yeah. and I think that's because of my current. Wait, wait, would that be right? Like, is it because of my current status? No, it's because, because of, of the, the program, program you are on. It doesn't, it have, doesn't that have that clause. Home requirement. Exactly, okay. but I think um, teacher for seniors own yeah. has that clause. And I mean, okay. think about it. It's more like come and develop yourself professionally blah 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 and go and support your country yeah. for some time they are not tying you for 10 years or five years yeah and then you can come back if the jackpot is your your yeah. calling and i think that if so within that five year period you are able to get other opportunities like schooling 
you know you, you can, can still go yeah you can go back to go you, and do school yeah, yeah they wouldn't say you have you, you should have stayed in ghana for or nigeria for two years yeah. and so you have a scholarship opportunity to do your master's or phd so you can't come as you long can, as it is not uh, being funded by, by the, the government. government by the american government you can come thank yeah. you for bringing that addition in because i think it's key yeah some people think they say go home and you can't come to america again okay. even if you had a b1 b2 visa you can't even visit america yeah. or you can't go to any part of the world think yeah. about it's just america and there are other parts of the world too so you can get scholarship in canada australia new zealand you can yeah. still come so really to me i think it's a yeah is that, you, is that what people say no brainer yeah and i mean you yeah make, you make a good point about even if you have a visa visa because i remember after yeah. your initial j1 program you came to the u.s a number of oh, times yes. on a visit to visa yeah but in the beginning yeah, yeah in the beginning when they were explaining to me i thought oh my goodness i can't come to you us again so guys we want to make it clear that if there's a clause on your j1 yeah that you return home for two years it does not mean you cannot visit the u.s on a b1 b2 visa number yeah. one it does not mean if you get a scholarship to study abroad any part of the or world you cannot the, go or even in, in the, the united US. states as long yeah. as it's not sponsored as by the long government as that scholarship yeah. is not sponsored so, by so i think basically what it means is that after you participate <laughs> in the j1 you cannot participate in, in it again in it again for, for another two another two years. years correct and at that time your j1 visa is not valid so it, they're like go uh, back home uh, exactly you can't stay in the US. you can't stay in the u.s so go back home and then and you can't participate what, for another two years but if you have a visa visa or you have a student visa and it come is come on especially for the student visa you are not on a government scholarship you can come back you can come back yeah, yeah. So and if you're on a scholarship is not funded by the government like you said you can still even go back to the u.s yeah for that school scholarship or whatever exactly yeah so, sometimes information like information is precious yeah, so especially we, when it comes to like the united states uh, immigration uh, and their yeah. visas it is like a whole and, different and america can be crazy they have so <laughs> many visas and yeah. I mean, yeah, so what, what were we even saying? So you're going to talk about the general the, feedback the about feedback. those the, who were emailing you about Yeah, so even though we, even though Chisha for Steiners, uh video is a combination of um, school and jobs, yeah. because of that, because of that, we've had other people email us and I think uh, it's not just because of teacher for seniors video. We've had these emails even in the past and we advise people one-on-one -on -one. and sometimes we just tell you to somebody who say drop the link and we email you and, and not, we do not email you we tell you send us an email. email because we realize everybody's situation is different so yeah. we like to advise on a case by case basis right exactly. so some people have emailed they want to do um masters or they want to do a phd and let me use one guy's example i think the guy has a uh, an undergraduate degree mm -hmm. in psychology. Let's okay. start from there. Undergraduate degree in psychology and has some diploma. You let's forget about the certificate or diploma in something. I can't remember that one. And then has an MBA in business and administration. Yeah. And the person wants to do, looking for opportunities to do a PhD. And um, when I was just responding to the person, when we we're responding, what I said was that, and I need people to really listen to this carefully. And I like to type. I'm saying generally, I'm not saying you cannot find full scholarship for PhD in business or business related, or business -related courses like human resource. What are some of the business related like MBA? Most of them say MBA, MBA uh, and like, yeah. yeah, they want to do a PhD MBA in that, finance, MBA or, in finance. So they want to do a master's in that, right? I'm not saying you cannot find, I'm saying generally. When we say generally, <laughs> babe, most you of are the, the time. English person, you're oh, oh, advice oh, us. <laughs> so most of the time it may be hard for you to get full scholarship yeah. for MBA like masters or PhD yeah. I don't know why that is but I feel like the perception is that people who are into business of course you you have your money so you are you coming are to pay you are loaded. are loaded and when they finish school too they get like well really well paid jobs. jobs and they it's easy for them to also get jobs so for example, the school I went to, like the, the, there's a Queen's University School of Smith School, like of, Smith business. school of Business. Like guys, like the swag, <laughs> you know, those who have done business, a masters in business and things like that, go and ask them. It's like prestigious. Very prestigious. And they swag. have to pay. Huge. They pay. 
and like and a huge, huge amount of money. And some people who have gotten um, 40, some 50, scholarships, a year. exactly. Those who have even uh, this is how much they pay, right? Yeah. But those who have gotten some scholarship, they are like you know when you get into the system, small, small, small scholarships, like small bursary. Uh, oh, come for this one thousand dollars. <laughs> it's not what is going to pay your school fees for you. Generally, that's it. So if you come and you say, as I'm, talking, I don't know, I'm looking for opportunities to do scholarship, it, it's yeah. like it's very hard for me to um, tell you that get it, go here and get it. Uh, so that the, the one of the solutions that you can explore is, for example, this guy's the, the, this guy's case study, right? Mm -hmm. He has an undergraduate degree in psychology. So let's go back to psychology, okay? It is a part of social sciences, like human, uh, um, how, how do you say, the humanities are going to yeah. go on. And you realize there are more scholarships in that field. You get more scholarships in that field and you are more likely to get a fully funded scholarship in a master's degree in a psychology related course yeah. than say MBA. Yeah. So if really your interest, you still have some interest in that psychology, why don't you just, it's like, Taking a step back, redirect your focus. You, yeah, redirect your focus. And at least you have a whole degree in psychology. You can yeah. build a case around it in your personal statement. It's more about um, your educational experience, your work, work experience. experience. And if you don't have work experience, you know Ghana. When they say come and volunteer, some people don't want to do it. Guys, this is an I'm advising you free advice. Take voluntary uh, opportunities. You see, most people say there are no jobs in Ghana, so I don't have the work experience. We are going to volunteer somewhere. Yeah. You know, maybe you don't have the money for uh, law, uh, Trotsky or something, but <laughs> you can volunteer what even. Is, what is Trotsky? Uh, uh, maybe you don't know. Sometimes <laughs> there's no money for uh, public. Uh, okay, so Trotsky is public transportation. Maybe you don't have money for that. Maybe you can just go volunteer once a week. But you see, our mindset most of the time is like, why should I pay and go somewhere when they are not paying me? But all of this, it, it makes your personal statement really rich and you see when you get to the point where you, you God leads you to Kweku and Asantua and you come and you have all these rich experiences already if it's not work it's fine voluntary it makes like, like helping you shape your personal statement like when I'm trying to edit for you and give you feedback it, like I'm happy it's easy. like it's easy for example this guy um, and not to put you on the spot I won't even mention his name but I was just going to give him a shout out because he's, uh, I, I see so far since he became a subscriber, he he's really supporting our channel. <laughs> Maybe I should give him a shout out. Augustin, his name is Augustin. Okay. I, I had Z, I think, yeah, that's his name. So shout out to you, Augustin. So Augustin sent us an email. We've done some work on Augustin's about our personal statement and stuff like that. And I was like, I liked, you know, yeah, his it experience. Like it's like you see i don't even know i don't even know what to say it's like everything was it's like everything in place, yeah so coming together and you put the personal statement together like really nice and augustin thank you for watching my video on how to write a personal statement and for using the tips guys before you come to us try and watch that video and follow the advice we give so that it makes it easy trust me kuku is so busy i'm so busy like we're wearing so many hats <laughs> so make our it is voluntary this one is a ministry we are doing we are not charging anybody any money free and you already heard anti testimony there will be more testimonies coming people that god has used us to to help so anyway go back to psychology and try and see if you can build something around that even if it's not like this guy wants to do a phd sometimes you have to humble yourself okay <laughs> and drop and and if you want to enter the system so this whole phd me i'll never tell somebody they come down to a master's level but the reality is that the standards here and i'm going to use canada and use america because i've worked in the in the u.s yeah I've, i went to school in canada i've worked in university in the u.s this and and the schools that me to have been uh, affiliated with they are not like any school <laughs> like top schools. they are top schools like when they say they are best in this like there's schools yeah. so please it, the the, uh, the the this um everything is rigorous you see everything is rigorous so sometimes maybe dropping on to a master's degree 
For example, if you have this MBA and then you have a psychology, yeah, maybe you, you can, have like a master's already in Ghana. And you have a master's already in Ghana. Already in Ghana. Maybe you want, if you are drawing from your psychology undergraduate, then you say, okay, let's do a master's in that first. Okay, that will make sense mm -hmm. before yeah, jumping into the PhD. Because the, 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 the truth is that, and I, 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 I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I am a typical testimony of somebody who did their undergraduate degree in Ghana, did their master's degree in Ghana, and God gave me the opportunity to jump into a PhD degree here in one of the best schools in Canada, okay? Yeah. And even my department, one of the best. So, it is possible, but most of the time, people even come to do second masters. Second they have masters. masters already from Japan, from Ghana, from whatever, Finland. No I've met I've met so many people, friends, no way, what? And they come and do a second masters. They ask me why. <laughs> Maybe answer it, it seems like I'm talking too much. Oh, I mean, it's just to <laughs> help them ease into the rigorous uh -huh. system and, and mean, get the admission and get the scholarship yeah i mean there are people who come and do a second master's and then after that uh -huh. second master's get into a phd exactly i mean some of them that's the opportunity that presents them exactly. itself for them to get into the system uh, so uh, I mean, exactly and some of them will tell you that they are even happy they started at the master's level because the writing and the school it's okay, a lot of pressure uh, they, they are not seeing top <laughs> you see because it's a lot of pressure like me it was a lot of pressure on me and uh, 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 there are other people like me who also came directly to do like uh, their PhD. Like my sister, my, my sister Doka, she went to South Africa and then she came here, right? Yeah. So that's what we are saying. So sometimes try and see, okay, I, I have a master's in human resource. I'm looking for scholarship or I want undergraduate. I have an undergraduate degree in human resource, looking for scholarship. Human resource is business related. Yeah. So maybe let's go through your transcript and see. Maybe there's some course you did in communications. Psychology maybe, of see, human or resource. psychology of human resource. Now you just go there, try and build a case for doing wanting to do a master's in psychology. Yeah. It's just to help you not I'm looking for a PhD in business. You can search and search and search and mm -hmm. business you need to pay. Most of the time, that's why we are saying generally, oh, don't go and say, don't go anywhere and say we said it's not, possible. it's not possible. It's just generally, I'm trying to give you some strategies you can use to build a case to still get into the system. I mean, of course, with God being your guide and with we knowing that you, you have prayed and that is how God is leading you. But those are some of the things I wanted to it, it say, baby. So we are going to just go into the demo and then yeah. show you how to get to the website <coughs> where all the teacher exchange opportunities are uh, and then yeah. I mean, we won't go through them. Please, this one, you are looking for the opportunity. So please spend time. I mean, if you have to go through all 60 of them to find the perfect opportunity, yes, please do so. And yeah. um, just to mentioned that especially for teacher for seniors um, organization apparently this year they have not done a call for applications mm -hmm. so applications for that one are currently not open but keep an eye out for next year and, and then for the other ones too as well you can still start an application like if you oh, see you can it start you, can still, you can still yeah okay yeah so th that's the homework we are giving you guys Sometimes we we'll try to do some hand holding, mm -hmm. but we can't do it all the time. So, especially with over 60 organizations, organizations. <laughs> I'll probably be, I don't know, 10 or 12 videos. And and it's even, yeah, and, and it's even good. You look through and I, I believe that God will direct you to your own. Right? Yes. All right. Okay. So, um, you are going to be doing the demo. Don't go anywhere. Just stay glued to your screen. Stay tuned. All right. Bye. All right, so welcome to the website where we discovered these opportunities for the teacher exchange program. Now you see the URL at the top there, it says what j1visa.state.gov. So if you enter that um, URL, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, you can get access to the site. Now this brings you to the Bridge USA page and Bridge USA basically is an organization that has um, an affiliation with the US government and they basically organize a lot of these exchange programs and uh, opportunities. So if you look here, you can see the different categories of the exchange programs that are possible with the J1 visa, you know, professor, research scholar, short-term scholar, blah, blah, blah. And then here you have the teacher 
exchange program right so if you come under the program section you see all the different programs that they offer and specifically the one that you want to be looking at is for the teacher so i mean if you happen to be not to be a teacher but you are one of these you qualify for one of these you know you're a physician you're a professor you are a student you know some something that applies to you you can check these ones out but today we are just focusing on the teachers as discussed so under the teacher section you have details about the program it says foreign teachers have the opportunity to teach in accredited primary and secondary schools in the united states and then the basic qualifications that you should have you know it says that you must meet the qualifications for teaching in primary or secondary schools in their country of nationality or last legal residence so you must be a qualified teacher whether you're in ghana whether you're in nigeria or whatever country you are in and then you must be working as a teacher in the home country at the time of application or if not working as a teacher you must meet the eligibility qualifications which is you should have recently within 12 months of application completed an advanced degree or have completed two years of full-time teaching experience within the past eight years right so even if you are not a teacher at this present time if within the past eight years you have two years of teaching experience you qualify nice. and then you must have a degree equivalent to a u.s bachelor's degree in the in education or the academic subject field in which they intend to teach and then yes uh, they said this already minimum of two years of teaching experience mm-hmm. you must satisfy you must satisfy the standards of the u.s state be of good character and then be seeking to enter the united states for the purpose of full-time teaching as a teacher of record at a primary or secondary school accredited in the united states Mm. and then you must possess sufficient proficiency in the english language right Mm -hmm. so spend some time to look through you know all the information here and the most important one is the program sponsor so these designated sponsor institutions these are the organizations which can place the participants anywhere in the united states regardless of their official location and then it says that please consult with the individual sponsor for details Mm -hmm. right so these are all the organizations that can place you with an institution right so we have like amity institutes like so many of them like just so many of them the specific one that teacher Faustina used is this one education partners international llc so they are located in north carolina um if you go to their website you can you know they connect the world's best teachers with great schools in the usa uh, you can apply to teach in the usa so this is where you want to go if you want to check out the program for this one so you have to create an account and you know do all that is expected of you there and then as we said they are not currently um placing teachers for this year but you can still set up your account and you can still like go through all the information in the on the website and see where um, you can find an opportunity that fits um, what it is that you are looking for. So back to the main page, as I said, all these organizations with their address, you know, their location and their phone number. So you could even call them to find out uh, more information. I mean, and they will be more than happy to answer your questions if you if you give them a phone call. It's not a big deal at all. So. You can read through all these organizations. I'm seeing French American School of New York, so probably a French teacher, wow. you know, German American Partnership for German Teachers. Yes. You know, all mm. these, all these um, organizations are there. Wow, there's so many opportunities for teachers. Yeah, so you see, one to forty of sixty-seven results. results. Wow. So this is the first page. If you go to the second page have all these you know organizations to there as well and you have like the departments of organizations who will kind of like oversee all the schools within a particular state so they would even have probably more connections and will be able to give you you know Mm -hmm. um, more detailed information but yeah any of these organizations as i said you need to take your time go through them read and find out what the opportunities are for you know um, teachers that want to teach there and yeah i guess this is where the bulk of the work is um, looking through these organizations to find the opportunity that best fits what you want so thank you very much and uh yeah take Take your your future into your hands yeah take time go through all of this and hopefully you find some program that fits your i'm sure specifications and you can put in your application so the how to apply button is also here 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. So it, 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 the designated sponsors supervise the application process and are the main point of contact throughout the exchange program process. So you contact the sponsors directly to take part in one of the exchange programs. And, um, I guess that will be it. And I wish you, we wish you all the best in your application process. And do let us know when you find an opportunity that um, meets your specifications and when you're coming to the u.s do let us know all right tell us tell us who we'll <laughs> get the opportunity all right thank you very much and thank you for watching this video all the best and please like the video like the video subscribe to, subscribe the, channel, to the channel drop a comment drop us a comment let's know how you are doing it right have a great day bye, bye.